Packing. Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Burnett. I'm your host for Down Home with Ashley. A lot of you know me as the Director of Development for Mountain Hope Good Shepherd Clinic. Some of you know me as a realtor with Britain Real Estate. Of course, I wear a third hat and that is your host of Down Home with Ashley. Um, and tonight I decided to get out of the studio a little bit and come down to the Old Mill District, which is one of the coolest places in Pigeon Forge. Um, I know it's a tourist favorite, but a lot of locals really love it here too. Uh, and as you can tell, there's a lot of hustle and bustle going on. A lot of people are coming down here after work, uh, but I was here for dinner just the other night and I stumbled into this cool little shop that I thought I would share with you. And so tonight I'm getting to do just that. Um, I appreciate Bob for coming out here with a camera tonight and uh, I'm about to uh, turn around and head on into the shop. I will see you all in just a few. Super, super excited for you all to see this great little shop here in the heart of Pigeon Forge. We're live in the Old Mill District tonight. Um, I'm, I'm so excited to be out of the studio and getting to bring you something new and exciting. Uh, we live in one of the most amazing places in the world and uh, part of what makes it amazing are the people of this community. I'm really excited to introduce to you Lisa Munn. Lisa, you run this magnificent little shop here in Pigeon Forge. I do. I have the privilege of working here and I love every minute of it. It's a fun store. And Lisa's going to show us a little bit of the shop and you're going to want to, after you see the segment, I promise, you're going to want to come down here to the Old Mill and check this place out. Okay, Lisa, you started off tonight before we turned the cameras on telling me about your favorite piece here at Long Story Short. Let's show it to our viewers. This is my absolute favorite piece. Our owner, my boss, makes these. He's done eight of them so far, and what he does is take old pianos that people just want to get rid of, and we repurpose them. And he has turned them into beautiful mantles. We take the legs and make bookends out of them. We've taken the front board and made coat racks, and they're just beautiful pieces. It's a way to keep them out of the landfills, and they have beautiful wood, and it's just, they're all one of a kind. And what a gorgeous piece to hang in your home. Absolutely. Awesome. Okay. So, good? Okay. Yep. All right. So, another sort of focal point of your store is this shelf yes. uh, filled with cases. Right, so you've got a lot of great old vintage cases. I asked earlier if I was allowed to, to, to get out my credit card and take one home. You said no, these are ours, but you do have some great cases sitting around we do. the shop. So we have a lot of almost just about identical to what's here that you can purchase. Um, these actually, he built the shelves to go around the cases, so therefore it would be hard maybe to find another one that would fit exactly in it. So, and we use them for filing, right. So, so anyway, just kind of a beautiful focal point of this particular shop. Um, and you guys have sort of a steampunk theme around here. We do. Yeah. It's so. one of our favorites. And you can kind of see it throughout the store. Um, it kind of flows into this is the beginning. And these are all studio pieces that we purchase. And each one is done by a different artist. Um, and we like to offer a little bit of everything. We've got the Jules Verne type octopus and each one is just a, a unique piece and it's this genre is very popular right now. So steampunk is super popular. Uh, if you're a steampunk fan you need to come down and take a look at the, their collection. Uh, they've got some really unique pieces. Um, but in addition to that, for the bibliophiles out there like me, uh, the books here are absolutely amazing. Okay, Lisa, tell us a little bit about the book collection. Uh, I know you have the sons. They're, they're everywhere. They are. Right? We have, we try to offer a little bit for everybody, every age. Um, we have kind of the classic literary section here that is kind of caters to the younger millennial crowd these days. Um, but we so. try to keep the classics here and old and newer ones. I was really excited to see Harper yes, Lee's book. Um, those of you who know me know that I've written an awful lot about Harper Lee. So go set a watchman is here if you don't have a copy. This is sort of a piece of literary history um, and I was so glad to see it on the shelves. Uh, but that's not the only piece of history here. She has some beautiful old hymnals. 
uh, lots of great kids books and uh, gosh there's just so much to see I don't know that we can do it all no we have kind of a garden section over here with all your gardening books um, we have a lot of one-of-a-kind hand-painted pieces by local artists here uh, we have different tools you can use and of course we have a lot of the older things that are just kind of were used back in the day and people love to come in here and reminisce and about the nostalgic pieces so there are some really nostalgic pieces take a look at the bicycle over here uh, this is a great piece and these things are sort of scattered throughout the store there are some amazing treasures in this particular shop so you know what that's called I always oh, tell me I again want, that is a penny farthing I get asked all day long what this is called and when we first got it I said well it must be a unicycle but it's not it's a, it's a penny farthing bicycle right so remember seeing these in some of the old black and white films yes. um, so they've got a lot of, of movie tins and posters that sort of thing around here a great collection of children's books old and new um, so it's a great place to bring the whole family uh, and try to leave with a treasure I'll also say that the prices on these books are very reasonable um, so it's, it's a great way to uh, if you've got folks who are interested in reading uh, bring them by I promise you uh, they will feel that there's so much value here all right so another room another room this is more or less the the primary book room um, and, and there are some amazing pieces in this room shop uh, thank you so much this was a great treat for me I love getting out in the community um, love finding treasures like this one uh, in fact we are sitting in front of a really really cool red phone booth looks like it's straight out of London right it's actually I think we talked to the owner a little bit earlier it's a wine rack so um, I, I really this is just such an amazing piece like all of the other pieces here there's so many things that I want to take on with me today um, and, and I think I might have a I don't know they said if they decided to ever let this one go they'd let me know um, I know I have a few friends out there who are watching thinking I'd really like to have that in my house uh, me too uh, so but Lisa tell us how you get all these things Oh, we go all over. We go picking at book sales. We go to estate sales. We go to garage sales. Um, so you're doing all the, the dirty work for us. You're getting out oh, and buying the, the great best. treasures. I yeah. wish I could do that every day of the week. Yeah. I love, we love to go picking and it's a lot of fun to find the treasures. So, uh, And you all get to benefit from it when you're here in the store, which is great. Yes. Um, so. Lisa, you're local. You've lived here forever. Um, tell us what you love about your job, about the Old Mill District, about this community. Well, this community is a little bit more unique. Um, it's it's kind of off the beaten path, and that's what I love about it. It's different. You'll see a lot of unusual stores that you won't see on the main roadway here. Um, there's a great olive oil store. We have a hiking store. We have another store around the corner that we it's gadgets and knives and a little bit of everything. You're right. So These stores have a lot of personality yes, and a lot of character. Very unique, and <laughs> it's great to work here. I just I yeah, love this I, and I. I cannot imagine working here. I said I would never make it oh. home with a check. It's not uh, like a job. It's not like <laughs> work. It's more like play all day. Thank you so much for sharing it with us today. Well, thank you for coming in. We really appreciate it. All right. So. so everyone, you need to go right now to a long story short on Facebook, like their page, comment below. Um, and if you happen to be out and about, 
maybe tomorrow or this weekend and take some pictures of this place would love to have you upload them so people can see a little bit more yes. uh, I know we didn't get it all uh, but do tell us what you'd like to see in the shop maybe on Lisa's next picking adventure she can be on the lookout we'll look uh, for you all right so thank you for joining me today I hope you've enjoyed meeting one of our neighbors and I look forward to seeing you again soon